Today is Tuesday, October 20th, 2020, and today I'm thinking about Jesus Christ and how his message is in the Bible, but a lot of false teachers, and I don't know if they're doing it on purpose or if they're just saying what they were told when they were young and they never took the time to look into it themselves. But anyways, you hear a lot of people preach a false gospel and... John 3.16 is really frequently brought up for people who they say that all you have to do is believe and that's it, but that's not biblical. And John 3.16 is an example where if you just keep reading, if you didn't just stop at a single verse, if you just kept reading, you would understand that it's not as easy as, oh, you just have to believe. And of course, we know that Satan believes in Jesus. Demons believe in Jesus. So this is John chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this isn't saying that believing is all you need to do. Just the simple thing is, if at the end of the day it turns out that you were a big phony, that you thought you believed in Jesus, but you didn't do anything different in your life, all you did was believe, Jesus is going to spit you out and say, I never knew you. So continuing, and this is the condemnation, that light is coming to the world, and men loved darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. So talking about deeds, what we do, the fruit that we bear. For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are wrought in God. And I just like this verse because talking about the truth, all of these unexpected pop-ups of the truth in the Bible that I didn't know about, I didn't know that Jesus said, I am the truth, until I read the Bible. And it's just strange that this is how I came to Jesus, through having a truth channel. And I'm just going to end with this, just an interesting thing to think about today. After these things came Jesus and his disciples into the land of Judea, and there he tarried with them and baptized. And John also was baptizing in Anon, near to Salem. It, I wonder where this place is, because there was much water there. And they came and were baptized. And I don't know, I don't think that they're talking about there was an ocean there, that kind of a lot of water. I think that they're saying that there's a lot of fresh water there. My mind went straight to the Great Lakes in America, or USA has tons of rivers. I'm not saying that's it exactly, but here the Bible's saying that this place, Salem, there was a lot of water there. Do you think of here when you think of a lot of water? Freshwater availability. Anyways, I just thought this was an interesting side note. <clears throat> they always got to talk about climate change. CC. That's it for this video. God bless everyone.